Just days after nine parishioners were gunned down there, the Emanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church reopens its doors. The memorial service at the oldest African-American congregation in the southern U.S. strikes an uplifting tone. A lot of folk expected us to do something strange and to break out in a riot. Well, they just don't know us. Reverend Dr. Norval Goff Sr., the interim leader of the parish, presides over the two-hour service. He says that hearts are broken and tears are still being shed. But through it all, we are reminded that we serve a God who still cares. South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley and U.S. Senator Tim Scott attend the service. Goff calls on the congregation to come together to heal and build a better community. There's a time and place for everything. And now it's a time for us to focus on the nine families. The suspected gunman, 21-year-old Dylan Roof, was captured on Thursday and arraigned on nine counts of murder. Federal officials are investigating the shooting as a possible hate crime. Roof appears to have written a racist manifesto that surfaced on a website on Saturday. Reuters could not immediately confirm who created the website.